one day you decided to build a bit of a home automation for yourself and you got an Arduino with some Ethernet shield, you wrote the code, all good. How do you mount it somewhere? So, next thing, you design a little holder for the Arduino. This holder has the main part, which will hold the actual board in, and the attachment bit that will go on to the actual thread then mount. Okay, that's all great. So you decided, okay, I'm gonna mount this. Hopefully this makes sense so far. So yeah, there is that's that's perfectly fine. Now, here is Fred. Fred is an easy easy solution. It's got a groove for the attachment and a few holes and a bit of a cutout here. So what do you do? Well, that's it. You insert the uh, attachment into the groove. Now, what's next? Hmm. Quite easy. You can get yourself a set of these. Now, you can insert one into the hole right here and secure it. If you need it, obviously. In this case, probably an overkill, but a good demonstration of what actually can be done. So, you jam it in. Okay. It makes it all nice and happy. At some point, there is some resistance. Yeah, that will never leave now. It's here for eternity. Okay. So that's all good, right? How do you mount it anywhere? On the wall or something? Okay. So you got yourself this. <laughs> a little contraption with a short um, din rail. Okay, all is great. So what do you want to do now is to use this part of the contraption and jam one at the top and get the uh, bolt in. What that will do, it will hopefully align itself for the first time with the nut. Here you go. Went in the first time as I hoped it would. So that's all good. Okay, we're getting some action here. Perfect. Okay, so what you do now is just slide it on the thin rail. Cool. So far, very straightforward. You continue to screw it in to give it some uh, resistance at some... Oh, here we go. It's slowly biting on the thin rail. It's nice and gentle. This is not going to go anywhere. It's not stupid tight but it's done enough now you're almost done I have another part obviously ready and this will just slide in you adjust the uh, the bolt and there you have it demonstration of red this now can go and be mounted on the wall just in case you're wondering this will not slide off <laughs> but yeah it can now go on the wall somewhere you can add a battery module if you want or anything else you're working on you might be using totally different electronics it doesn't matter the demonstration here is this you can place different electronics on a DIN rail for your home automation project or any other project that your uh, heart uh, desires. And uh, yeah, that's hopefully a very quick and straightforward demonstration of what can Fred do for you. And uh, yeah, Fred is the code name for this particular part. It's a nice and easy design done in free CAD. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. And hopefully it's... Uh, 
visualizes what I'm trying to do here. All right. Thanks for watching.